a lot of discussion about uh, whether we're about to enter into the fourth industrial revolution. It's being driven by a number of factors, uh, automation, robotics, sensing technologies, certainly the internet of things, and um, visualization, virtualization, um, software, and being able to, to simulate real life activities through software. And of course, uh, last but not least, 3D printing. We are about to enter an era of what I call a digital connected economy. Every product that used to be developed in the past, when they are launched, you know, they are, they are, they are the dark side of the moon, right? You never hear from that product or that assets again. But with the internet, with the availability of sensors, with the power of compute power, now those assets wants to be heard and they're sending back a lot of insightful data that companies can use to make their products more efficient, better performance, extension of life, right? Things that they could do, they can do before. Uh, I think data that we get from our machines is one critical component, but data that we get about people and learning and performance combined with the IoT data is gonna be the game changer. We still are gonna have to have people and the Routine tasks that people are doing uh, will be automated, but they'll have to do higher order tasks that require more soft skills and engagement with other people, team building and leadership activities. And if we could understand the impact and really, frankly, who are my rock stars and what makes them so good? And how do we use the data about our rock stars in our organizations to grow more talent like them? So if we take a look at where we see the direction of smart manufacturing, it's in the use of sensor technology to know where products are, where people are, and where equipment is located so that you're able to not only monitor those things in real time, but to know how they're being utilized and by whom. Uh, when we start to uh, explore who is involved in the process, it pulls in lots of different areas, not only from the supplier side, but also on the manufacturing side, all the way to the end user. Uh, the desire to know those key components really aligned into three buckets. You have visibility, which is knowing what you have and where it's located in that supply continuum. Uh, you have utilization, knowing what you have, uh, who's using it, how they're using it, and then the last piece of the, the equation will be optimization. Uh, optimization is being able to know what you have and where it's being used or where it could be used in uh, gain more uh, from that deployment. The factory of the future um, is going to have to be leveraging technology and the ability of machines to talk to machines. Um, the Internet of Things, the data elements uh, are going to be important in, from a, a maintenance standpoint, but I think we have to get beyond that and think about the customer as well. Uh, and how will we leverage similar technologies and create experiences for our customers? Uh, I think those are the, the two main things that I think are going to be uh, opportunities to create competitive advantage. The factory of the future is going to be much more connected, uh, much more technologically enabled. You know, I think going forward, the way we make things will be transformed by uh, new technology that we're only beginning to see uh, the power. Um, if I think about the Internet of Things and the ability to capture and analyze and, and manage assets over long distances in multiple locations uh, to draw conclusions from information. Quite frankly, the information currently exists, uh, but the ability to capture and analyze and really draw value from that data will be very different in the future.